Fritz got it. Uh, can you do edge extrusion? Hard surface modeling in ZBrush. You can't just do an edge, and the reason why, I think, is because you can get very quickly into non-manifold geometry land. So if we go over here, what I usually do anyways is just throw a little thickness on it, which is probably not the answer you're looking for, but I'm going to show you anyways, just in case anybody else is wondering. So I go to Q-Cube here, on the solo mode here, and so the question is, like, can you do, um, like, go ahead and delete hidden. Can you do an edge extrusion? So if you want to extrude, for example, this edge, if you do that, it's just going to pull up like so. Not to say, let's go ahead and do insert single edge loop here, here. So we've got a simple plane here. If you did want to extrude this edge, you can. So there we go. Extrude, edge, loop complete, plug your pile in. Yeah, that'll work. So if you did want to extrude an edge, you can go through here and extrude these edges all you want. It's just going to create a bunch of extra geometry. You can just go through here. Let's go to select lasso and get rid of these. And then you got back to your edge. But usually what I'll end up doing is doing like a Q mesh polygroup ball. And then I'll go through here and just use Q mesh functionality. So I'll do Q mesh single poly. I can pull this up. And then if I want to, I can go over here and extrude an edge. So I can just between Q mesh and extrude, I can kind of dictate you know, how these things are bending. So with extrude here, I can pull this up and then I can Q-mesh out and then I can go through and again extrude this edge and then pull this out. And then I've got this kind of shape going and then it's just a matter of getting rid of all the extraneous stuff and then deleting hidden. And then I can go through here and say like, okay, I want to bevel. Now you can bevel edges. So you can kind of bevel this one and this one. And then if you want to, you can go to like insert multiple edge loops with interactive elevation. And now when I pull through, I can kind of pull these things out, kind of round these things off, if that's the kind of look I'm going for here. We'll round it this way. And then if you want to do like a panel cut, then at that point it would just be a Q-mesh, all polygons, and just pull that through. Now, of course, you'd want to pull that up so it doesn't flip your normals. But if you do flip your normals for any reason, you just go down here to your... Let me, oh, I have all these on. Display properties. And then just hit flip. And then we've got this kind of shape going. Cool. Thanks for showing up, everybody. <laughs>